Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, first off being that E3 is literally right around the corner as you guys are watching this video. Um, I believe like the first section of E3 started, which was like the EA section. So uh, they're going to be releasing information and videos for the Anthem. I know that's like a really hyped up and anticipated game for 2018 and 2019. Um, then also they released, uh, I think a two or three minute trailer that I saw on Facebook about uh, Madden 19. And I think there's something else about a racing game. Not 100% sure, but uh, first thing, like I said, want to talk about E3 and for Division. Hopefully they gave us a release date for when the game's going to come out, probably early 2019, like maybe February, March type of deal. And then secondly, like I said, I want to talk about my state of mind for the Division 1 because honestly, as of right now, there's really not a whole lot of content to be made on the Division 1, even though we did just get a release date for update 1.8.2, which is on the 14th. But other than that, that's what I wanted to cover on this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you guys do. Make sure you guys drop a like and a subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Like I said before, uh, there's not a lot of content to be made on the Division 1, so if you guys have any recommendations, any gameplay, don't ask Fortnite because I hate that game. It's just not fun to me to watch or play. So if you guys have any games you guys want to see, CS, anything, make sure you guys throw it down in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's get right in the video. Alright guys, so getting right into it, we're going to start off with E3 first because E3 is basically a couple days away for the release of the Division 2. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I don't believe personally that they have released any information about when they're going to actually be revealing the Division 2, so whatever it might be, you know, release trailer. Um, they also said on the State of the Game Thursday that they're going to be giving us uh, a little bit more information about how shields are going to work in the Division 1, transferring over to Division 2, so um, I'll make sure to get as much information and cover with you guys in videos uh, when it's actually revealed and released for everyone to see. Um, but like I said, for me personally, um, I'm going to be working the next five or six days in a row after I have today off. So um, as far as the release date and the times and whatnot for all that goes, when they're going to be showing Division 2, um, I have no idea when that is going to be shown. Um, I'm assuming they're going to probably talk about that on Twitter or something, give us a release date because, like I said, I have no idea. I could be working. I could be sleeping. Uh, I could be, you know, any anywhere, and I have no idea when that's going to start. So uh, when I get a release date, I will let you guys know, and I'll do my absolute best to cover as much information and upload as fast as I possibly can so that you guys can stay up to date with Division 2 and basically be informed just like everyone else is. In terms of content for E3 for Division 2, um, I'm going to do my best, like I said, uh, to get the content up as fast as I possibly can. Um, I will say one thing uh, very quickly. I'm not actually sure if I'm able to just like cut clips off of, uh, off of the Division stream or off of the E3 stream and like use them for my videos so um, I'm gonna give it like a couple hours after they release the trailer for Division 2 and see if people use them because I'm not 100% sure that every youtuber has uh, the like copyrights you'd be able to use the videos I'm sure if you're like at E3 and you got invited to uh, go to the Ubisoft event or whatever for a division then you guys probably have rights to use it but as far as just the legit content creators out there that are just wanting to use a couple of clips from the game um, that I'm not sure of. So as soon as I see someone that I know personally um, on the side of YouTube or Twitter using the gameplay, then I will do so. Uh, but for the gameplay side, um, I'll do my best to get it up there. But like I said, uh, for just straight up information, raw information for the game, um, I will do my best to upload it as fast as I possibly can as soon as it goes live on the stream. So right now, I'm sure you guys can probably tell that you guys really haven't seen any content from me, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, on the side of videos as well as streams really in the past like two two and a half months really um and the reasoning for that is after they like officially announced on the state of the game a couple a uh, couple of weeks ago like a month and a half ago um on the state of the game basically announcing that division 2 was going to be a game it was legit um that it was already in the process and it was going to be released at e3 more information about the game um i'm not saying that it necessarily killed the division one but uh, for all of, like the hardcore content creators and the hardcore players that are still playing the game, it just like kills the hype of whatever is still left for the Division 1, if that makes sense to you guys, because uh, for me personally, I have like over 70 days played. I know it sounds crazy to say that, but I have like over 70 days played on multiple characters on the Division for my Xbox One, and I'm pretty much like straight up endgame as of right now for 1.8.1. I know 1.8.2 just got um, announced, and there's actually some pretty significant changes that they're making to the game. Uh, when that comes out on the 14th of this month but um, in terms of like gear and exotics and whatnot for the game uh, I'm pretty much like at pure end game um, I have pretty much every single gear set that I'm gonna want um, I have every single exotic weapon and gear piece in the game right now um, 
and I have pretty much everything optimized as pretty much high as it can possibly go for the builds I like using. So um, in terms of like grinding, pretty much end game for me personally, I'm not sure where you guys are as players in the game right now, whatever you might be on, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Um, but I can confidently say that probably around like 85 to 90% of the population of the game right now is pretty much end game. Uh, what I mean by end game is you pretty much have everything completed at your highest level and just about everything. You have a ton of Phoenix credits, a ton of credits, you have pretty much every exotic weapon and piece of gear in the game, you have every gear set, every loadout that you can possibly want. So the only point to play the game right now is pretty much PvP and for people that don't like PvP, what is there really left for you to do in the game when you have all the gear that you want? Um, some people just straight up love PvEing, uh, they really don't like the side of PvP and they don't like playing against other players, especially when they're solo. So. Uh, for me right now, the state of the mind for me is sort of just like um, I'm in the middle, you know. Um, I don't want to not play the game, but there are definitely a lot of times during every single week where I hop on the game, um, I load my character, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing, you know. I really don't even feel like playing this game, and then I just turn my Xbox One right off, and I hop on CS or I hop on PUBG. So um, if you guys are still playing The Division and you guys uh, want me to keep on streaming it, um, you guys can do so. Um, currently, I'm working on like finishing out my Rogue 29 character. So if you guys are on Xbox One and you guys are trying to squad up for Rogue 29 in the Dark Zone, um, let me know. I have one other person that is pretty much ready to go in the Dark Zone with me. Um, I'm just finishing out a couple of things so that I have weapons and gear that I want. So I'm not just like an idiot walking in the purple gear and whatnot. But um, for the most part, Rogue 29 is really the only thing to do other than, you know, some... DLC modes like skirmish or survival um, but in terms of everything else in the game pretty much end game for me for me personally at least um, and there's really just if I'm being honest there's just really not any content to make which is the reason why you don't really see any content from really any youtubers or streamers for the division you're kind of seeing um, a lot of content creators branch out to other games um, it's a good thing that e3 is coming around because that gives content creators a whole hell of a lot of content to make on any game that they might be hyped for coming up in the couple next couple of months uh, but yeah guys that's that's basically it um that's pretty much the reason you haven't seen any content for me at least for me personally um, I just I don't know I don't have a wide variety of games that I play if I'm being completely honest with you guys um, I apologize I just I don't really like Fortnite if you guys are like on that Fortnite grind I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I don't enjoy watching it, that's for sure. So uh, you guys like won't ever catch me watching those Fortnite tournaments. You know, you won't ever catch me watching Ninja, that's for sure. Um, I just, I don't know, I just don't enjoy watching the game, to be honest with you guys. I don't find it enticing. I find it, like, hit-ish, if that's even a word, in 2018. Um, I just feel like it's hit-ish. Like, uh, a lot of little kids play it um, and just doesn't really entice me. It doesn't want to make me play the game or watch it at all. Um, I'd much rather play PUBG, it's more realistic anyways, but um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys have any videos or any games I should say that you guys want me to make videos on, um, make sure you guys throw that down in the comment section below. I play a shit ton of CSGO, so if you guys like watching any form of CSGO highlight videos, um, or if you guys just want to see me stream it and play solo queues um, on Face It, let me know. Um, like I said, I would have to work out the kinks for being able to stream or make videos on PUBG because my computer, my PC is pretty damn good. Um, I'm able to stream and play basically any game in like decent frames in terms of like 90 to 150 uh, frames for like high high ranking games like PUBG and whatnot. But um, in terms of streaming, it would take me a little bit of uh, time to get the right kinks and the right uh, settings to be able to stream or make videos on, on PUBG. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, but I'm going to do the best I possibly can to pump out some form of content you guys because I'm just not going to let my channel die after you guys uh, supported me so well in the past couple of months um, as well as how much uh, how much work I've put in this channel for me personally as well as uh, other people that have helped me grow and uh, people that sort of rely on watching my videos on a daily or weekly basis. So that is basically going to do it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like on that subscribe channel if you guys are new. Once again, I just want to say this one more time. Uh, if you guys know anything about Division 2, any any dates, any times, anything you know um, about the timestamp for Division 2 being released at E3 for in terms of uh, the trailer or any information, um, please let me know because uh, I do not work until Monday, so I don't work until the 11th. And after that, uh, I do not have another day off, I believe, until the 18th or 19th. So I work another like six or seven days in a row. 
um, after I go back to work after having four days off. So um, if I'm working, unfortunately, like I said, uh, I will not be able to make any content until after I get out of work. Um, and if I'm off, I will do my best off of work. I should say uh, I will do my best to get home as fast as I can and make the content upload it as fast as I possibly can. But um, enough talking. Um, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.